Welcome to our Burns Night Special. And it's quite fitting that here in Glasgow, we are standing by a statue of the man himself, Robbie Burns, Scotland's Bard. So let's get started. We start our journey at Glasgow Queen Street, one of two of the main railway stations in Glasgow. And Glasgow Central, which holds lots of very special memories for me, because my friend Brian, who sadly passed away a few years ago, and I, we always met at the now former nut stall at Glasgow Central. Now, Glasgow Central is also famous for another meeting place which has been around since the day it opened and it's the clock. So let's go and take a little look inside. And it looks like Glasgow Central has a new meeting place. Meet me at the Shell. The Shell. At the Central by the Shell. Isn't that fantastic? Look at this. Now this bridge which runs under Glasgow Central is known as the Highlandman's Umbrella. The Highlandman's Umbrella. It was a meeting point for workers from the Highlands who came into Glasgow and it's retained that name today. Uh, there's lots of little shops here including uh, there's a barber's and also a fish and chip shop. So we're in George Square, Paul. What's it like being back in Glasgow? I love it here. The last time that we were in the city was in February of 2021, in the middle of a lockdown, when we recorded Ready Steady Cook. But we weren't, well, I was gonna say we weren't allowed. We didn't have time to come into the city centre, so we had to stay pretty much at Pacific Quay where we were. So it's been a couple of years since we've been back in the city centre itself. And this is George Square and We've been in Edinburgh for a few days um, doing our Hogmanay, um, which you will have already seen, of course. And um, I didn't even realise, but here in George Square, there is also a Scott monument to Sir Walter Scott. So oh, it's wow. a, Yeah, I know. It's right behind us. And over here on the other side, we have a statue to the man, of course, that we're here to celebrate today. Scotland's bard Robert Burns. So let's go take a look. So here's Robbie Burns himself. I think the seagull on top, perhaps a little bit disrespectful to Scotland's bard. Um, but you will find in Glasgow that the statues do have some headgear, whether in the form of birds or traffic cones. Maybe we'll have a look at Wellington later on. And what did I tell you? There is Wellington himself. And it seems as though his horse has now some headgear as well. Two traffic cones. It's a real Glasgow tradition this.
Fair far your honest sonsy face, great chieftain o' the puddin' race, aboon them a ye take your place, pinch tripe o'er them, weel are ye wordy o' a grace as langs my arm. The groaning trencher there ye fill, your herdies like a distant hill, your pin would help to mend a mill in time of need, while through your pores the dews distill like amber bead. Don't forget to subscribe. You haven't subscribed yet? What's keeping you? It's really easy. Just hit the subscribe button. Thanks. Well, the railways do certainly seem to be a theme of our shows and there is another one that runs the whole way around Glasgow. It's the subway, also known as the Clockwork Orange. Well, just look at the colour behind me. We're going to take a circuit right now. It is only one stop from St Enoch to Buchanan Street on the inner circle but we went the long way round because we wanted to enjoy the Clockwork Orange. This is Buchanan Street. And it's the main shopping street that runs through the centre of Glasgow. And for those who want a little bit of culture, you could always stop off at the Glasgow Royal Concert Hall. One of the other main shopping streets is Saki Hall Street. Come on, Paul, it's Burns Night. Get over here, there's whiskey. <laughs> what is this? House of Elric? From Aberdeen, Scotland. Well, we're we're all very Scottish tonight. Come on, what's keeping you, Paul? Have you been a, have you been on the a wee dram already? <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't even been open, so you can accuse me of that. So it's Burns Night, and Happy Burns Night! Happy Burns Night, everyone! And you always need to have a little dram with your haggis, and you have selected oh. this absolutely fabulous-looking bottle, all the way from Aberdeen. I have not seen this bottle before, so I thought to myself, hmm, what would be a good whiskey for Burns Night? And then I thought, the price isn't bad. <laughs> well, if the price is right, come on, get it opened. We want to have a wee snifter here. So I hate these stupid things. It says it's 40% um, Volume is that sort of uh, standard for whiskey? I think that they're normally between 40 and 45 percent. Okay, so this is normal. So, this is that we're actually peeling it off, and this is to prove that it is a, a new experience for us. Oh. With, with oh, oh, yes, <laughs> mm. 
not bad. Not because bad. Because normally Marcus is like. Yeah. Well, normally with whiskey, it sends my eyes literally to the back oh, of wow. the back of my head. But so far, so good. Um, okay, that's a, a generous amount. Um, Do you like ice? Well, I was just I was just gonna say, uh, is it is it all right to have a little bit of water with it, or would that be? No, you can have water. Look down on. Do you want ice? Ice on a slice. This is too much. Fabulous. Oh, is it only for me? You're not having any. I don't want ice. Okay, drop it in. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> okay, so what's the best way to drink a whiskey? Do you, do you, <laughs> no, but do you... Oh, uh, okay. Do no, you, do well, you Do you give it a nose, first of all? Basically, we're supposed to roll it round. Yeah. Make sure that there that. are any legs. Oh, there yeah. There is. But that's good, isn't it? It is. When you see the legs, which is the... The liquid clinging that, to the side of the glass. Yeah. That's a sign of a good whiskey. I think so. Cheers. Cheers. And happy happy burns night happy again. Happy burns night. Hope it doesn't burn us too much. Mm. Wow. The yeah. It's opened the eyes. You know what flavors I taste? I think I taste some caramel. It's interesting because after you take like a, a tiny swig, then the the tastes do sort of come after that. It's not immediate. And is it not a bit sort of peaty or something as well? I think it should be peaty because it's from Aberdeen and the whiskies near Aberdeen or thereabouts should be a bit peaty. Well, I haven't read this before, so this is what it says. The, to the nose, sweet... Smokiness. Mm, well, it says sweet aromas of Madeira cake, dried fruits, mm. mocha, and Morello cherry. I taste the caramel. <laughs> well, we'll get to the palate. Rich and robust with notes of chocolate fudge cake, burnt toast, treacle, and dried figs with sweet licorice highlights. And the finish is boiled sweets, salted caramel, there you go, and festive spices tail off into a sweet cake spice linger. Now that you say, it does remind me of like a Christmas cake or like something like that because of the burntness to it. And when it says boiled sweets, if you get a packet of like, um, fruit sweets or something like that or, or glass you know gl the fruit glassier and inside I think and, you know I, I guess you shouldn't really sit and eat the entire packet but, no. but they are rather moorish and sometimes you do and what I find after eating several of those sweets you do get a sort of like a, an almost like a burnt sort of feeling in, in the in the back of the throat and you know it's that's where the boiled sweets is, is, is coming from I think here you've tried a lot of whiskies in your time Paul how does this Have one right? Well, from all the em empty bottles I see out <laughs> <laughs> for the recycling to collect, but uh... no, I think I think you shouldn't just go by brand. You shouldn't just go by what you know. You should go by what's out there, what's on sale. I think be adventurous, perhaps, and try just new. try something different. Otherwise. You'll never know what you may or may not like. Mm. So going back to your question, let me give myself one more taste. I've forgotten what the question was, but it'll be interesting to hear the answer. Question was where? Oh, where does, does it rank? Yeah, where does it rank? Is it up there with the? I mean, I'm drinking out of an Ochentoshen glass from from Glasgow. Um, that's a lowland, a lowland whiskey. How does it compare? I suppose, is it apples and pears? You can't compare. Mm. No, it's it's hard to compare these different whiskies. And I feel like if I do, I would be putting them to disservice. And I think that I would be forever tarnishing the brand. So I'm gonna sit in the fence I'm and... gonna abstain oh, oh okay well no matter no matter what what, what you think it's a, it's a great it's a great whiskey yes mm. and I think definitely it is you know, for Burns night you've got to have scotch
So happy Burns Night, everyone. Cheers. Happy Burns Night. Cheers. Watch out for those legs. Well, we start it with a statue and we finish with one too. I think it's quite fitting that behind us is Donald Dewar, who is Scotland's first ever First Minister. So no matter what you're doing this Burns Night, have a great one. See you next time.